After being infamous for bullying poor Formula 2 drivers who are simply trying to make a living to feed the family, it may come as a surprise that I have never made a video on the fan favourite, Alessio Deleda. No, this clearly has nothing to do with the fact that Mr. Charles Revel was sued by this absolute heartthrob. However, I am hoping that a 26-year-old Italian man would have it in him to not sue a 17-year-old English kid for making a light-hearted funny video on the internet. P please, I just need to buy a car. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this, so today we're going to have a look at why Alessio Deleda is the worst driver in history. Okay, fine, fine. Maybe he's not the worst, but it's an effective way of just detailing how shambolic he is. Alessio Deleda was born in a little well-known place called Imola in 1994. He didn't do a great deal with his life concerning motorsports until 2017 where he competed in the Italian Superstock 600 Motorcycle Championship and his successes were about as prevalent as girls in my DMs. Bringing back old jokes, we love to see it. After prematurely getting bored of two wheels, in 2018 Alessio Deleda tried his luck in the Italian Formula 4 Championship and he didn't come last. But although this sounds like an incredible achievement, he didn't exactly score any points or do anything noteworthy at all. As a matter of fact, a great number of drivers who beat him didn't actually attend the full season. Contrary to what everyone else saw, Campos saw some unseen potential in the Italian man and signed him for their F3 team for the 2019 season. Totally not anything to do with cash. Deleda's results would improve significantly, picking up some consistent points finishes and even two podiums. Nah, I'm kidding. He attended every race with an average result of around 25th and the highest result of 16th, but he tried his best, eh? Alessio also attended the 2019 Macau Grand Prix, where he beat Enzo Fittipaldi, David Schumacher, Dan Tictum, Felipe Drogovic, Jake Hughes, and Arjun Maney. However, it is probably worth mentioning that all of these drivers did crash. Following a few more poor performances in other open wheel championships in 2019, Deleda re-signed with Campos for the 2020 FIA F3 Championship. His results weren't far from phenomenal, placing 34th in the championship behind four reserve drivers. Noteworthy moments include... Absolutely nothing. Oh, and filming himself driving a Lamborghini Urus through traffic at 100 mile per hour. Although arguably the biggest crime is the fact that to commit his felony, he picked the Urus. Okay, I'm sorry, but if you have enough money to buy your way to F2, you can afford a sense of style. Apologies to all Urus enthusiasts. However, this is the first example of Deleda demonstrating some serious pace and actually overtaking something, which caught the eye of HWA Race Lab, who had the absolute brainwave to sign him for the 2021 F2 season. His results have been exactly as you could expect. The Italian finished last in the first race at Bahrain, followed by two retirements in Sprint Race 2 and the feature. The next race in Monaco saw a big change for Deleda, however, being even further off the pace. In fact, Deleda didn't actually qualify within the 107% rule, something that even Mahavi Ragunathan could accomplish. Despite this, though, he was still allowed to attend the three races at the circuit. There isn't a clear reason as to why, since the FIA kept relatively quiet, initially using Alessio's lack of experience as an excuse. However, they changed this story and blamed a technical issue, which is is probably a bunch of horse shit. His lap times in the race were dreadful, consistently being four to six seconds a lap slower than the leading group. But at least he didn't do this. Yo, you wanna see some real speed? In Baku, Deleda retired an undamaged car and generally just avoided walls to pick up 15th in race two. As for the Italian's future, well, I'm sure you all know how it's probably gonna go. It's blatantly obvious that his money's the only reason he's in any form of motorsport and he probably won't last very long. With that being said though, it also wouldn't surprise me if, if he somehow buys his way into Formula 1. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm getting my hopes up a bit. Anyway, that is all from me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, and if you do, I will see you all in the next video. But until then, take care and thank you very much for watching.